Hello, I'm Margaret and I'm speaking to you today from my daughter's garden in France. I'm babysitting my four-year-old granddaughter and I haven't been in my own bed for a while and I'm a bit sleep deprived so um, I hope I get all my words in the right order. So um, this afternoon we're going to go to the park and so I've decided I'm going to go just for a, a very light eyeshadow with a bright lip because I'll probably be wearing sunglasses for most of the time so the emphasis on the lips. Um, it's a lovely day and so we're going to make the most of it. I've already prepped and primed my face so um, eye prime, smooth out eye prime, the lovely never feather lip prime, the smooth like silk face prime. So those have had time to sink in, dry and everything so now I'm going to apply uh, light look beauty balm because I don't feel I need um, more color than that and the one I'm using is the O1 and what I'm going to do is to put a few little pumps onto my hand and then I will apply it onto my face with my fingers to begin with rubbing it in and then using a, the brush to smooth it out and make sure it's blended. So I'm going to use circular mo circular movements to make sure it's in all little corners and down the jawline. I usually do this in a bathroom but um, in my daughter and her husband are very tall and the mirrors are too far for me to be able to see properly. So this is a good option. So there you are. After the uh, beauty balm I'm going to apply concealer. So I use the number two concealer during the, the summer and I apply it with a concealer brush onto the different uh, areas of my face that need it. So the broken veins and the age spots. And after a rather enthusiastic hug yesterday, I've got a bit of a scratch there. So um, I'll use a smaller brush to apply concealer to those little spots where I need more coverage. Here are the broken veins, and here the enthusiastic scratch while hugging Maury. Now, Maury is my alternative for granny because my roots are Irish and I thought it would be nice to be a bit different because in French granny is mammy and I found that sounds more like mummy so I decided to go for Maury. So after the um, concealer I'm going to uh, uh, apply the translucent powder. Now as you can see I wear this a lot so that's going to go all over my face in circular movements again with a big, the big brush and I can never remember the numbers of these brushes. I think this is number one. That's quite simple to remember. So after that we'll go for the eyes. Now what I'm going to do is a very very quick eye makeup. I'm going to use the nice big eye shadow brush and I'm using the soft purples, the trio. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swish the brush all over the, th the, th the three colours of the trio and I'm just going to apply that as a wash all over my eyelid. Maybe just a little bit more. Blending in as much as I can. Now that's quite good. And I'll do the same for the other eye. A mix of the three colours and blending in all over my eye. So it's just a wash of purpley colours to go with the, the pink in my top. So to finish this look up, look off, I'm going to need the Lithe Lash Mascara. I usually curl my eyelashes, but I think my granddaughter must have uh, borrowed my uh, eyelash curlers because I can't find them. Unless they've fallen into my travel bag, maybe they have. So now I'm just going to apply this to my lashes to and fro and pushing up. And that's enough on that side. 
Now the um, mascara I use is the black waterproof and I keep th saying to myself I must try the, the blue but um, I haven't yet. There. That's for my that's finished my eyes and now I'm going to concentrate on my lips. So to begin with, after the lip prime, I'm going to use the strawberry lip liner to go around the edges of my lips. Now I won't be able to talk doing this, so I apologize. I tend to start at the bow and work my way outwards. And then the bottom lip. This lip liner is so easy to use. And then I fill it all in. Not going over the lines like my granddaughter would say. There, so that's the lip liner applied. And today, because I've got some pink in my top, I'm going to use fuchsia. Fuchsia is a lovely bright colour, which is really good for summer. Now, what I do is because I've been using these lip, these beautiful lipsticks for a long time, the um, the, the beautiful lipstick, and I also have long-lasting lipstick. So I will apply a base of the standard lipstick. I apply a base of this lipstick in fuchsia, and then I'll blot that. My tissue, and then I'll apply a top coat of the long lasting fuchsia lipstick. There. So I'm now ready for the park where my granddaughter wakes up. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share. And please comment also on anything you'd like to, to, to mention about the products or, or any questions you have. And I hope you have a lovely sunny day like me. Bye bye.